Al started training, showing, and competing with horses in the early 1960s. He has experience in racing, halter, reining, western pleasure, barrels, poles, and dressage. He's won several major championships in Mexican Charro, and overall he has won over 300 trophies and awards. Al was the first to train a horse to follow the beat of a song and has the world's only true dancing horses. To all my friends around me, I'd like for you to know This golden horse I'm riding is going to do a show And when he hears a band play, he likes to jump in France And when he hears a cumbia, you know he wants to dance In last week's show, I showed you the Guadalupe County Sheriff's Mounted Posse doing a drill after each member gave up their western saddle and their reins for 30 days to use my double reins and the Australian saddle. I will show you some highlights of that show. First, the drill with the double reins and the Australian saddle. One of the point of interest for me is that I see very little movement in the saddles. The reason for that being is the saddle fits them perfectly and their legs forward like they should be. 80% of their weight is in the saddle and 20% in the stirrups. I see no one losing their stirrups and no one standing in their stirrups. Their posture is good. We'll compare this to their own saddles and reins in the second part of the segment. Now we see them in their western tack using the same equipment that they used before they tried my double reins and the Australian saddle. This is Rodney. He's been using the double reins for the last couple of years. Notice that the horse's head is collected. His head is down where he should be. This gentleman has his stirrups the length that they should be. His horse is in the left lead and he's riding very, very smoothly. If you watch his turn, the horse is gonna come out of the lead and go into a trot. And just a little bit on the next turn, and there is the trot there, and you see he's forcing him to get back into the lope again. This is why it's so important, the collection. You should have a collected trot and go into a collected lope. You should never have a long trot. It's very uncomfortable for you and also for the horse. Here's a lady with her, the horse's head way too far out. Her legs are at her side. If she has to make a sudden stop, whoop, which she just did, you can see where she wanted to go over the top of the horse's head. This horse's head is way too far out as well. And when he pulls on him, the horse has a tendency to throw his head up. And once he throws his head up, you've lost direction. Guadalupe County Sheriff's Mounted Box. Well, I've uh, ridden a Western saddle for the last 12 years and I've, I've tried this uh, Australian saddle and it's, it's very comfortable. It's, it's a comfortable saddle. Uh, it's lightweight. It's a little bit lighter than my uh, Western saddle and uh, it 
it uh, fits my horse better. Uh, feels like it rides lower on his back and conforms to his sides better. And uh, it, it's a very comfortable saddle and it's, and it's easy to uh, work with. Well, the double reins, I, I like the double reins. The, the saddle is very comfortable. I like the way my horse's head went down immediately and he seemed to take it really well. It's a little confusing at first, but you know, he, he, he picked it up really quickly and I was really impressed. And, and the saddles, I mean, there's a lot of potential for those saddles. I mean, they're really comfortable and together, they just work well together. And I like them personally, so I would, I would continue riding it. Uh, well, I've ridden both the Western and the Australian saddle and uh, now both do have their advantages. Uh, the western saddle, of course, is what I'm more accustomed to. Uh, and even though it, it's kind of hard, it, it's fairly comfortable. Uh, but one of the things I noticed about the Australian saddle in particular, I felt like I was closer uh, to my horse and more one with my horse as we were moving. And I certainly had greater freedom of movement in my legs. Um, which to me, whenever we're doing close maneuvers and, and tight turns comes in handy. Um, so that was uh, certainly a big plus there. Of course it's lighter, makes it easier to throw it up on the horse too. <laughs> uh, as far as the double reins, now I've, I've been using those for right at two years. Um, some people in our group had, had seen me with, with my horse, uh, Jed, after I just had him for about a month. And I'd ridden about once or twice a week during that time and they we're on trail ride and they asked you know, if he was gated. They'd been around him for five years. And yet in that short a time, that, that little bit of uh, exposure to it, it had made a difference already. Um, now, whenever we were riding today, both uh, with the double rein and, and those who were riding without, I didn't switch back because those are my reins. Uh, I have much better control uh, over my horse as far as getting him in the correct lead, it's much easier. Uh, on turns, he he handles much better. Uh, you know, I'm a firm believer. I I don't have any other head stalls without a double set of reins, and I plan not to because I like the control that I have. And my horse didn't. Uh, he he took to it right away. He didn't have any major problems, and, and even though he usually kept his head uh, in in good position, I, I never used a tie down. I didn't need one, but there's just a world of difference, and it's a good difference. Okay, the Australian saddle, uh, it was comfortable. I had a lot more free movement with my legs uh, compared to the Western saddle. I didn't bounce around as much as I do in my Western saddle. Uh, the double reins, it was kind of difficult at first, but until I got the hang of it, then I seemed to, you know, do a little bit better and the horse felt a little bit better and uh, he didn't cheat the corners when we were using the double reins when I went back this afternoon with the uh, ones that I've used in the past he went back to wanting to cheat the corners and I didn't feel like I had the control as I did with the double reins um, well I did find that with the the double reins I felt like my horse was more collected I had a little more control of, of him um, being the lead horse, I have to keep him going, and I know I had a little trouble with the speed, keeping him going. And, of course, he knows the drill pattern better than I do, so it's <laughs> just a matter of keeping him from cutting corners and things. So I can see both ways. I, I, I think it helped him a little bit. It really did. And uh, the, the two saddles, uh, it was interesting to ride the Australian saddle. It was, it was comfortable. It was a little bit different getting used to it. Um, and I don't know which one I would like better, but since I already have my Western saddle, you know, I'm just so used to the Western saddle. But it, it is, you know, for, for new riders, it would be a good saddle to start with. Um, I realized with the, when I got back in my Western saddle, I had a lot more movement in the saddle. I wasn't, didn't have a good seat anymore. I mean, I, I could really feel myself moving a lot more. Um, it was more comfortable to me because it was what I was used to, but I did notice myself. I was like, man, I really feel myself moving a lot, where before I was more still. Um, and as far as the double reins, I could tell in during the drill, I had a lot more control over my horse. 
um, as far as with her trying to cut corners and where I could collect her and slow her down when I needed. Um, and when I took the reins off and put my regular reins back on, she was more relaxed because that's she likes with her head down really low and just kind of being able to run out. But I didn't have as much control and I noticed when I would try to pull her up and collect her to go into a turn, she'd kind of toss her nose up before she would give to the bit, trying to you know run through the bit on me. But I felt like I had a lot better control with the double reins, a lot more collected and not cutting corners during the drill. Well, I tell you, Al, I really liked the, uh, the Australian saddle. It was like a duck to water. Uh, the minute I got in it, it just felt comfortable. You know, like putting on a fine leather glove. Um, my problem is the way I ride in a Western saddle is the way you're supposed to ride in, a, in an Australian saddle. So it just felt comfortable. And I, and I really enjoyed it. As far as the double reins go, uh, my horse is more collected with the double reins. It's going to take me a little bit more uh, time to get comfortable with them. Uh, I like them. Uh, I have more stop with them. Uh, my horse is a reining horse, so you know he just lay. You just lay the the rein on him, and he'll turn. So. I'm very comfortable with them, but I just need to learn to operate them with, with one hand versus, you know, with two hands. So, but I really enjoy the Western, uh, the Australian saddle. It's really fantastic, and I plan on getting one. Um, I did like the uh, Australian saddle. It's more flexible. I had more um, leg movement, so I could feel the horse a lot better. Um, especially going back to the Western saddle, I could tell that there was a lot of stiffness, you know, in the Western saddle. But um, yeah, I, I miss the Australian saddle. <laughs> um, as far as the double reins, I usually use a tie down, and um, it, they've definitely a big change in um, using the uh, double reins because he doesn't throw his head around nearly as much. It was much more control. So I really like it. Yeah, uh, I really like the saddle quite a bit because it allowed me to have more contact with my horse which uh, I like the lighter saddle, more contact, and she can really feel when I'm asking her to cue a certain direction or stop. Uh, the double reins really uh, helped her a lot because she's a four and a half year old filly and she had never had a great deal of training and she has a tendency to carry her head in the sky because she's a half Arab, half Tennessee walker. And so it allowed her to bring her head down where I had more control and I was able to sit on her a little bit easier. I think she needs more time with those, but I can see great progress just since the 30 days that we've used the saddle and the reins. I feel that 30 days are really not a, a long enough time to really uh, evaluate it, but uh, during that 30 days, uh, I think my horse with the double rein has really become more collected and with the uh, incorporated with the Australian saddle, actually I, th I think it helped the team a lot because they uh, become balanced, more balanced riders than uh, they, they were before and I, I feel that that helped me a lot too. Uh, if we had another 30 days to go, I think we'd see vast improvement on this team, really. Um, beginning with, I was very skeptical because the saddle that I ride right now is a treeless saddle anyway, so it's kind of the same concept, but um, after today, putting my old saddle on for this type of uh, riding, the Australian saddle was a lot more comfortable. And with the double reins, my horse is a challenged horse, so to speak. He tosses his head, he will not collect, and um, after I took that off and put mine back on, the head's just bobbing up and down. It's, it, it, I was amazed. Um, 30 days ago, I wouldn't think I'd be sitting here saying that, but um, I made a big difference on my horse because like I said he can be a handful and um, until you, you think you're doing everything that you know to do but until somebody shares with you um, I wouldn't have believed it until I actually tried it but um, I'm definitely impressed with how it um, kept his head down he would listen to me and um, I was beginning to think that uh, he was just going to be <laughs> a uh, problem all along, but um, just uh, trying one thing 
within five minutes you can tell that the potential if you just spend a little bit more time that it's it, it's amazing it's amazing at first I didn't like the saddle the Australian saddle but then I started figuring out how to use you know my feet more as leverage for staying on and then the double reins I couldn't quite that get that figured out either but after some adjustments it started working really well for me I knew I had a problem before where my mare would always stop on her front end and pretty much launch me and so physically I had to hold on all the time and I just learned to do that but if some, I would never put anybody else on her because of that reason but after riding with this joint saddle and the double reins it really brought her body together and um, I actually feel a lot more comfortable on her that I would let somebody else ride on her and I didn't I, I started believing as time went by and then when we switched back to our old saddles it confirmed it for me the only problem for me though is that I don't like the look of the Australian saddle and if it had a different look that would be great but I think I would probably still use the reining method and uh, maybe adjust it to my Western saddle but we'll see how but I did like it in the end the past couple of weeks, I wasn't really happy with the with it. It was like I just wasn't getting it. But then, like last night and today, um, I noticed that when I ask her to change her leads, it's easier to change it in the saddle and the double reins. She responds quicker. I don't have to, um, you know, hit her on the side and try to make her do it. She seems to willingly pick it up easier. So that's the biggest difference that I saw with that double reins and I don't know if the saddle has anything to do with it maybe because I can move my feet easier and and move them around and um, that's the, the thing I noticed the most. Yes I've been riding a western saddle so much and I've only rode this saddle in 30 days and I know it takes used to getting used to and everything but with the reins once we got it right and everything and got the bit right and stuff then I seemed like my horse dropped his head a little more and it worked good for me. Oh. Well, riding that uh, Australian saddle has uh, been an improvement on, on my riding ability. Uh, like I said, uh, I've ridden for quite a while, you know, always in Western saddles. And uh, I've had, you know, from time to time balance problems. And here lately, for some reason, my balance wasn't right. And just riding it uh, has helped me improve my balance. Uh, I'm doing better with leg controls because of the freedom of the stirrups uh, and it sits uh, sits you up sits you in the saddle better and gives you a, a better feel for what your horse is doing and uh, like uh, you've explained on when you first brought them out uh, in my opinion you're right it make an excellent beginner saddle because it gives you that balance and that security that good seat that you need for security and uh, talking with some of the other riders that are relatively newcomers to riding uh, and have had troubles when they first started with this program. The improvement they've talked about, and it all shows that that saddle alone is, is helping, their, uh, helping them work in, with their horse and get their uh, confidence up in riding. Now, like uh, I've used the uh, four reins somewhere around a year and a half and uh, this horse that I'm riding is a five-year-old. <clears throat> we started out with a single rein, and we brought it into the four rein. And uh, he's a lot more collected. Before we did that, I was had started using him in our drills, and uh, was not collected. Was rough riding, uh, and I was having trouble keeping my seat because uh, he's long. He's 16 hands. Uh, with him rating himself and and setting trying to check his speed and keep keep up with the other horses he was real rough uh, and evidently not collected by using the reins now he has become collected a much smoother ride and uh, he just he works a lot better uh, really no comparisons so today we rode both ways and the last was with the single rein like originally and uh, I actually had a hard time staying in the saddle because of his not being collected and as much as I've ridden him in the full rain it, it kind of surprised me that he changed that quick uh, so I'm you know both the saddle and the full reining method I, I like and I, I endorse as, as far as uh, uh, helping out new riders and, and the horses.
Ladies and gentlemen, this is Golden one more time, and I'd like to show you, I've told you in previous episodes how to hold your feet, uh, how to catch your leads and stuff, but you can do so many things with this technique. Let me just kind of demonstrate a couple of them. Uh, we're going to be putting out some videos later on on dressage movements and how to get them, some barrel movements and how to get those. But let's take a horse that is in complete control. By me tapping him right here, I can have him put that foot up, and then by me putting a little pressure on my right leg, I can make him make a spin. And at the same time, I can get him to be pawing. <laughs> you see that? Just by touching him, he is ready to give you a bow. So each little movement that I make, each little thing that I do, uh, enables him to advance the cue further. Now, let me just take you through a few of these little movements. For instance, you just saw this one. I don't know what that's called. I just started doing it one day, and so let's just call it Al's turn, I guess, for the sake of, 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 of for lack of a name, let's say. But uh, in either case, let's take him into a lope, and then by using, I'm going to put him in a left lead, and by using this foot up forward and this one back, like I showed you earlier, I'm going to do a pirouette. That means that I'm going to actually be loping in a, in a circle in one solid place. And by keeping in one solid lead and get the pirouette going, you can just hold him. And get your pirouette. And these are just some of the things that you folks can do with this system and these double reins. Had we not had the double reins on him, it would have been a lot more difficult for me to keep him in this position. Like you saw just a minute ago, what I did is I took him in a lope and then shortened the lope up and then got him to, to, to actually do a pirouette, which is loping in a circle. I can also do that in a straight line. It doesn't have to be in a circle. I can get him to lope in one solid place. The same way with the trot. Let's say, for instance, that we get a trot going like this. And as I come at you, I'm going to keep his legs moving, but I'm going to stop his forward progress. And we get what I call a piffé, or some people call a pee-off. It's nothing more than trotting in place. You do the same thing with a trot, an extended trot. Then you hold him in the trot. And then if you want some head movement, here's his head movement. I am not pulling him now. And he can dance you a cumbia. So th all of this generates from the double rein and the fact that I can set him down real close, to set the saddle down real close to him, and we're right on his back. It's more comfortable for him, and at the same time, I've got his head right here where I can make the necessary adjustments. You can use this system. You can go as far as you want to, ladies and gentlemen. You can go to college. You can go on beyond if you want to. You, this is precision riding, and it takes a while, but I think you'll like it if you try it.